Hey, Bruce Naylor here. How the heck you doing? Glad you're watching my video. Always appreciate those thumbs up. Let's get right to it. Let's talk about the total train wreck that is Yahoo and what I consider to be one of the worst executives in history running that company who just happens to be the first, as far as I know, female in charge of a major internet-based company, and that is Marissa Meyer. So let's get right to what's going on with that company. Now, I hired her in 2012 away from Google, where she'd been an executive. I think she was employee number 20 for Google. Hey, way to go, Marissa. Very smart gal, honorary doctorate degree, big into artificial intelligence, good coder, the whole bit. Good executive, but did she have what it takes to compete as a CEO of a major company? And by golly, the answer is a resounding no. Let's talk about some of her failures. I actually got a list right here. Number one, when they hired, that being the board of Yahoo hired Marissa, Marissa has yet, even to this day, ever come up with a comprehensive, clear-cut strategy to grow Yahoo. She simply couldn't make it. In the last year alone, in 2015, their stock value went down by 30% and they posted a huge loss because Marissa just couldn't get it together. Now, they also um, arranged for the sale, of course, of the company for $4.8 billion. But this is exposing other failures that we're going to get to just in a minute. Another widely reported failure of Marissa Meyer is the fact she doesn't listen to her key executives, doesn't listen to them, doesn't accept their input, and that's a big, big problem. Not You can't be good at every single thing. That's why you hire people smarter and better than you are for certain positions. The next major fail, and I consider this to be a very radical feminist thing to do is to start replacing men with women whenever possible. Now, according to several lawsuits, one of which I believe is still going on right now, and there's probably more, uh, the female head of marketing at Yahoo, in conjunction with another female head of up media, under the direction of Marissa Meyer, instituted a new program on rating employees. And this was used to adversely affect men. Now, in the media, the, all the verticals that Yahoo had, 80% of the executives were male, 20% women. Within a year and a half, that all got changed to 80% women, 20% men. And that, to me, strikes as a radical feminist thing to do when you hire women because of gender only. Apparently, men aren't good enough. Now, remember, she's the gal who had the baby and then put a nursery right next door so she could go to work sending a message to all the females that work at Yahoo. If you're going to have a child, you can get right back here and get to work. Forget about motherhood and bonding with the baby for a while. Put on the man's pants, get in here, and show them how it's done, ladies. Yeah, that's the kind of gal I'm talking about. Another failure that she had was instituting a review system that was done on a bell curve. And guess what? Managers felt that they had to put people on the lower side of the curve. It was mandated that they put so many on there. And innocent, hardworking people worked at Yahoo were fired for no reason at all other than to satisfy some metric that Marissa came up with. Another failure, it just goes on, it just goes on, is the fact that Marissa Meyer did not disclose a massive data breach of over 500 million accounts back in 2014. She stayed mum on, on it until it was discovered and made public, thus changing the terms of the sale, in Verizon's mind at least, for $4.8 billion, who is now trying to negotiate the price down by a billion dollars because of this. But no, it gets even worse. She allowed Yahoo to work directly with the U.S. government to create a software application just like a real-time wiretap on all inbound email coming to you through Yahoo's email servers and then turning that evidence or that information over to U.S. Uh, intelligence agencies. As far as I know, that's the first time a major internet company is willingly cooperating with U.S. intelligence agencies on spying on its customers. Yeah, that is pretty horrific. So, You've got all these people, the data, the hack, the data breach, 
spying on people. Naturally, customers want to just take their business elsewhere and change email services, for example, right? Which would mean even a more loss of active accounts. So what does Marissa do? She green lights the project to go ahead and shut down auto forwarding as of this month of users' emails so they can't really make it very much easy or they can't make it as easy as they should to switch to a different email service. Yeah, that's Marissa Meyer. And for all of her good work and losing them billions of dollars just last year alone and ultimately selling the, the company, they're going to pay her $57 million should Verizon decide to let her go. Yeah, they should let her go. She failed and failed miserably. But I want your opinions down below. Bruce Naylor, take care.